more and more professions, we are likely to see AI encroaching on the human domain. And again, to, to stay on the financial front, I think even today it's fair to say that the number of people who understand, really understand how the financial system works, it's less than 1% of the people on earth. And that's a very generous estimate, I think. In 20 years, the number of people who understand how the financial system works might be exactly zero. It will be so complicated, so fast, so dominated by these increasingly sophisticated algorithms that no human being will be able to really understand what's happening on the financial markets. You might still have a, a human as US president, but this president will get a, a call from the AI at two o'clock in the morning. Dear president, we are facing financial crisis. We are facing financial catastrophe. I see it coming. I can't explain to you why, because you're a human, you can't understand it, but believe me, there is a financial storm coming. I analyzed all the data and you must do this. But I can't explain to you why, because you're a human. There is no bigger problem than that possibility. If human nature is going to change or if human decisions are going to be superseded by non-human intelligence, as you well were saying, nothing of that importance has ever happened, I think, in the history of humanity, and we're not prepared for it. The issue of whether those robots or AIs will or will not have emotions, they will be programmed to have objectives. And the issue of how to program AIs to have objectives that are compatible with human interests is an extremely interesting issue that some very very good people in the AI domain are very worried about.